So this is crazy to say, but for the very first time in my life, I'm heading to a Home Depot. Wife, how do you pronounce it? Home Depot. And this should be an interesting experience. I've only ever been to hardware stores in the UK, at least of this size, and my main experience is that of B&Q, which is our equivalent of these kind of big box hardware stores. I suppose that's one of the things about owning your own house is that you are in charge of sort of the accessories that come with that house or don't come with that house as they might when you rent so that's really why we're heading there we need to go and get a dustpin and also a few other accessories like shelves and things like that so it should be interesting hopefully we don't get lost in there i've heard that these places are absolutely huge and if you haven't subscribed to this channel do that now There it is. Save big ma- Oh, that's a different one, isn't it? That's Menards. Midwestern, that. But Home Depot, just like Lowe's, I think is nationwide. Is that right? All yeah. across the country, yeah. I think you're right. Hence the American flag. Wow. This is really high. How do they get around this problem in Lowe's? Because it's called Lowe's. I love tile and I am immediately drawn to this one, which kind of fits with our pink. We're not buying it today. We don't have time for this. We're getting really distracted. So let's get a move on. Let's go find the dust bins, trash cans. What have you found now? Rugs, we're at rugs now. We're not gonna <laughs> save big money. It's not Menards, I keep forgetting that. But we're not gonna get the things we need if we keep looking at rugs and, and tiles. Look at them. Look I at know, this one. but we have a plan. We made a plan, we're gonna stick to it. We also already have a dining room rug, but that's not gonna stop me from petting it. Oh, we've been in here about 20 minutes and I still don't know where the dust bins are. It's massive, isn't it? I'm not seeing any signs, wife. They're all up there. They're all up there. Oh my gosh, yeah, the signs are really high up. So I have to arch my neck, but that's all right. They like their astroturf in this place. <laughs> Seen a lot of it. She was thinking about getting it for the balcony. I had to talk it down from a ledge. <laughs> what? I'm gonna get it. Just shh. Don't tell him. We were gonna look for paint for my studio and then we realized that there's just so much paint in here and I haven't done much research into what I want that I don't want to just, you know, plunge for something right now. So we'll wait on that. Still looking for the bins. <laughs> So you are, I was expecting to see more men with beards and flannel shirts in here. Not been enough of them. I'm wearing my nice coat. Bins. Never really thought about this, but it's quite hard to decide how to buy a bin. I hate all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of really bland, but then they are just bin. You're not looking for something ornate, are you? Yeah, but you have to look at it every day. I know you do, but I mean, it's just to take in the rubbish. What do you call it? Trash. Yeah, we've done that one. But still, it is a hard thing to do. What I will tell you is, I don't want one that looks like a coffee maker. It just feels <laughs> weird. Why does it look like a coffee maker? Well, it doesn't look like they have the one we were looking for. At our last apartment, they had one that was sort of split. It was a hybrid of just regular trash and, and recycling. But that's all right. We'll probably just get our trash can online at Amazon. But now we're out in the garden areas. It's fun. So we asked about where we could get sort of fireplace accessories and they pointed us into the garden section because they do have sort of fireplace accessories except they're for fire pits, which is, is great. We'll probably come back for that, you know, in the summer, but this isn't fireplace stuff. Home Depot, you're so huge and you don't have anything that we want. Maybe that says more about us. I think it probably does. Tile though. Tile, there's good tile. It's good tile. It's good tile. Yeah, like everything else in America, the garden area of Home Depot feels way bigger than the equivalent of B&Q, at least the B&Q that I knew in Grimsby. So I'm going to get probably our fire stuff elsewhere, Yeah. since they only have outdoor stuff. We're going to obviously get our trash can online because I know exactly what I wanted. I just assumed they'd have it here and they didn't. We're too particular. <laughs> and 
we're gonna go antiquing to go and find the shelves or sideboards really is what I want but if it has to be shelves then it's shelves. Come on. I've got to get back soon so this antiquing thing you're gonna to have to tell me <clears throat> shushing me she's shushing me. It's almost like big box stores like this or Walmart or what have you are sort of like they are the jack of all trades but the master of none so if you want something that's really specific they probably won't have that but they will have lots of things that are general to that thing and that's what we've fallen victim to. I don't want to play the victim card it's not really Home Depot's fault but I did put a lot of trust in them and they didn't come through so we are we're gonna we'll probably go to somewhere else for the things that we need. We ended up going to Target and getting ourselves a little shelving unit which looks a little bit like this in fact exactly like this because this is it to be clear that is just the box the real thing is inside we also had a lovely time at the antique store and bought this little contraption I say little it's pretty big it's also pretty old one of the beautiful things about it is its handles and the reason I say that is that those handles are very recognizable to me because, by sheer coincidence, they are the same handles that we have on our dining room cabinet thing. And at the same antique store, we bought this. It's not a stepladder. It is, in fact, a shelving unit that hangs on the wall. And that's it. And I know what you're thinking. Ooh, Lawrence, where are the fireplace accessories? Where is the dustbin? Well, we ordered them online, so for now our dustbin is a white trash bag on a door handle. So, I have done Home Depot for the first time. It might also be the last time. I doubt it. You think? Tiles. Tiles. She does like the tiles. There were things in there that piqued my interest. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just that we, we weren't specifically going there for those things. So, in the future, we may come back. What happens if you want something from the top shelf, though? I mean, that's my question. Need a big ladder. That's it for this video. I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me on Twitter at Lost in the Pond US and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I don't have to. In case you haven't been following my house related videos then I would advise starting with this one. And a big shout out to my patrons who make these videos possible. If you would like to become a patron of Lost in the Pond you can do so today at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Until the next video, goodbye.